Fraga, our Nations Cup champion, is about to lead us away for seven laps here at the Fuji for semi-final B, and away they go! Igor Fraga, of course, predictably leading the field down to T1. Down the background, I can see uh, Sportia going very aggressive in the background. He's up the fence. Oh! oh, no! Oh, no! Off he goes, fired off onto the corner there. I think he must have lost it on entry, Tom, but that is his race done and dusted straight away. And meanwhile, Coke Lopez all over the back of Jonathan Wong like a bad rash. He's through the left-hander. They're picking up speed now. Now, here's a replay of what happened to Bottier. He gets on the... Oh, he just gets onto the grass. There's no way he can slow down. And uh, I'm sorry, Bottier, but that's not the way the track goes, mate. You can see his heart there beating. He's down the inside of Dan Holland into the next right-hander, though. There's a bit of contact, a bit of door handle bashing as they come onto that start-finish straight. It's a GT at Salazar there, going past Martin Grady in the BMW M4. That Ford GT very fast in a straight line. He's got the inside as well. He might have a look at Holland on the inside. Holland sees him a bit too late, comes across in the... Oh, the massive... And wow, Carazza there caught napping. Both Salazar and Holland go by. I think Carazza was admiring the scenery. Martin Grady we ride on board with now. Oh. We can see him to the left. Carazza immediately fights back on Grady. He gets through. Dan Holland goes wide. They're side by side nearly between Carazza and Dan Holland here. Grady trying to pick up the pieces where others are faltering. He's in the BMW. He's on the inside of the Brazilian. They're going through the right hand and they're going to flick it left though very shortly indeed. Oh, very closely done. They go. Carazza has the inside line. He holds firm. He holds position. Pierre Lenoir though says thank you very much. I'll take a position off you there, Martin Grady. Not really a place to overtake here. He's going to look anyway at his countryman. And oh! there goes Lenoir. He gets it all kinds of wrong. Punts Daniel Holland wide. He goes off the circuit. And now it's all mixed match through here. Looking at Lam Law in the background. He's trying to squeeze through. He's now up into eighth position and looking up the inside of Lenoir. So Swillow gets an absolutely cracking exit out of there. And now he's in the slipstream of Martin Grady. Now he's alongside Dan Holland. He's going to try and pick off two at one here, uh, there he Jimmy. Goes. Yeah, there he goes. Look at the power here from the DB11. Driving past Martin Grady. He can't do anything about it. He's just been had on both sides by Holland and to Swillow. The thing is, they're all doing this, they're all fighting, they're fighting to survive. A big reminder as oh. Ryan Holland gets it wrong, goes into the back of Lenoir, payback from the lap before, I think. But guess what? They both suffer. And now Dan Holland finds himself outside of the top ten, which means he is going home. Into the pits comes Hockey Lopez, Mangalo and Salazar, and Lopez gets it wrong. Oh, he does, yeah, you're absolutely right there, Jimmy. Igor Fraga is into the pits, the race leader now. So jo uh, Jonathan Wong takes over at the front. Igor Fraga in the Lamborghini Huracan. Fraga go from soft to soft. Uh, he had. I'm just trying to think about that actually. I can't remember what compound of tyres he started. He was on, on the soft tyres, so he would have gone soft to soft. So if that, if that is how it is, then Fraga is um, going to be getting a penalty. We'll wait, we'll wait for that. We'll see what we get any confirmation on our end there. But that's how it looks on our screen right now. That could be absolute disaster there. And here they are. A great view from his 40. He's looking at the front left tyres. He goes up the inside of Mangano, takes the place nice and cleanly, covers him across to the left-hander. Salazar in that 40 GT, absolutely hustling around the Fuji circuit. Salazar darts to the inside of the final turn. They run side by side. Salazar using all of the curve and some that he shouldn't really be there as well. Meanwhile, Igor Fraga, he's in the pits again, Jimmy. This is absolute disaster for the Brazilian. He he comes in, he's going on to the medium penalty, a uh, medium tyre, sorry, but if he didn't change his tyres, he'd have been given a 20 second penalty there as well. So he goes from softs over to mediums, but he's made two pit stops. Oh, but I can't believe it. Absolute disaster for our Nations Cup champion of last year. So now Igor Fraga, his goal is to try and finish 10th or above if he wants to go through to the repercharge. That means this man, Jonathan Wong, is in the lead. But look in the background, Giorgio Mancano, Lopez and Salazar are breathing down the neck. Putting on to the back, a, a relatively low heart rate compared to what we're used to seeing here. About 130 BPMs in the bottom left there. And dives up the inside of Lopez. I don't think Lopez expected that. I certainly did. Carazza up into fourth. Oh, oh, hang on a second. So Carazza goes into the pit lane there, but Carazza has already made a pit stop. Why is he going from soft to medium? He doesn't same, need to make another pit Fraga, stop. Maybe. Same issue as Fraga. We'll have to get cl yep. uh, clarification for that. Some of the drivers are making these basic mistakes and it's costing them dearly. But look who's behind, Igor Fraga, and Igor is going to waste absolutely no time in dispatching Martin Grady. Through he goes in the Lamborghini now, and now onto the tail of Gatlam Law. But Fraga on a charge, it's straight away to the right, using that traction from the four-wheel drive car, fill up alongside the SLR McLaren. But who has the grunt in a straight line? 
Looks neck and neck, Tom. Yeah, it's very close. They're running side by side down the start, pretty straight, coming on to the final lap. Igor Fraga, cool as a cucumber, slight look over to his right-hand side there, just making sure there's nobody else trying to attack him. They're still running side by side down towards the first corner. Igor Fraga has gone from ninth to fifth position in the space of three laps. That is incredible progress after him a strategy mistake. Jonathan Wong, a flash of the lights, and victory in semi-final B here at the Fuji Speedway. Carlos Salazar in the 4GT comes home in second position. Mangano in third. Poke Lopez, the last of the drivers, making it through to the grand final here this afternoon. Igor Fraga, best of the rest in fifth position.